Hello, in this video we're taking a look at breakdown cover for driving instructors. If you are an independent driving instructor or you want to be an independent instructor and you're thinking about what kind of cover you need for if your vehicle breaks down, well in this video I'm going to break down the breakdown services for you. So I've been doing this job for over 20 years and I've had several breakdowns over the years and I've used different companies. So in this video, we're going to take a look at four different options. You've got the AA, the RAC, Green Flag and Independent Operators. So let's get straight into this. And I'm going to talk first of all about a few things you need to know about getting breakdown cover as a driving instructor. The most important thing to know is you must not just get a personal policy. So if you go online and just buy breakdown cover as a standard motorist would, you won't be covered. If they come out and see you've got your controls, they'll say, sorry, but you're not covered under a personal policy. Now, if you've looked online, you might be aware that there is business breakdown cover, but even that won't cover you. And I wonder how many people out there have got business breakdown cover thinking that they are covered as an instructor and they're not because you're not I looked into this and what you need is specialist business breakdown cover so when you look for this online it actually comes under a taxi policy if you pretend you're a taxi driver it's the same thing as that and I would like to say please do your own checks for all this don't just take my word for it this is my experience and my opinion some of this stuff may be wrong, so please do your own checks and due diligence. Don't buy a policy based on what I say. This is just a bit of help. It's not meant to be advice. So how much does it cost to have business breakdown for driving instructors? Well, unfortunately, it's a lot more than the price of a normal policy. Now, most personal policies will cost, let's say for example at the time of recording this, which is March 2nd, 2023, when I had a look online this morning, the AA had an offer and it was £79 a year for personal breakdown cover. Now that's only the lowest level, and we'll talk about levels in a moment, but I've just bought a policy, and again this is not me recommending this company, I'm just saying this is what I did, your choice is up to you. But I bought a policy with the AA for my breakdown cover and it was £261 and that was with a special introductory offer because it's the first year I've been with them. The standard price is £323 which is a considerable amount of money. So it's a lot more than you would pay otherwise. The reason is they say you could break down more your car could break down more, that is, if you break down, well, the AA won't come out if you have a mental breakdown. <laughs> but I'm there to help with that because as well as being a driving instructor for over 20 years, I'm also a professional hypnotherapist and I help people deal with driving issues, including uh, driving instructors who have been in crashes and things like that. Just had to get a quick plug in there for my business. So yeah, um, it costs a lot more and annoyingly you can't always buy online now i bought mine online with the aa i think you can with the rac now i think you have to phone them but <clears throat> let's get into looking at these different companies one more thing though before we do that because i just thought something important they will all tell you about how you can get this app so breakdown companies now have an app so if you break down no need to phone anyone you can just get your phone out tap the app and it sends a breakdown mechanic to your location. Unfortunately that doesn't apply to driving instructors because as a business user you can't use the app with the AA. If anyone from the AA is watching I think you really need to work on that because I do feel a bit aggrieved that I've paid 300 well I paid 261 pounds but the standard price is 323 pounds and you can't even use the app which someone who paid 79 pounds could. I don't like that much because, look, this is my vehicle. The only reason it's specialist is because it's got dual controls, which doesn't change the way the engine works. It doesn't change the flat tyre. It doesn't really change anything. I understand that they have separate policies because some people have unusual vehicles like 
ice cream vans or limousines which are maybe meet specialist knowledge in some way. It's just a, a Ford Fiesta with your controls. So I do feel a little bit hard done by, by that. Now maybe other companies you can use the app for business. Please let me know in the comments because I'm here to learn from you as well in this video. But let's get into the different companies. So the AA. The AA is undisputably the biggest breakdown company in the UK. They have their own fleet of vans, mechanics, engineers, breakdown centre, whatever. They are the biggest by a long way and they are said to be the best. Now, of course everyone says they're the best, but they have won multiple awards year after year for being the best and that's for getting to breakdowns quickly. Now I have used the AA several times over the years and I have to say that they are quick to get to you. There was one time that they did, I think it was 25 minutes they got to me and then the time was about an hour and a half. That was on um, a busy day. Whenever I wrote down it seems to be on busy days like bank holidays or whatever. But yeah, they are quite fast getting to you. Um, it's annoying you can't use the app but nowadays it's quite easy to let people know where you are. If you don't know about a thing called What Three Words, I thoroughly recommend you get What Three Words on your phone. It's an app that gives you three words for your location. So instead of saying on on this sat nav, which has just gone off, <laughs> bad timing the sat nav, just turn yourself off there. But this sat nav on my car and on my phone, I can just press a button and it will tell me where I am. It will say the name of the road. If you can hear a funny noise, that's not me, that's the, the fans, the, the heater blow or whatever of the car. So, you can use the sound app to find out where you are, but the AA use what three words. So what three words is you go online and it uses GPS or you can just scroll the map or type in the name of a road you can see. But instead of being just a rough location, it's an exact location because they've... Um, they've mapped the whole planet into three meter squares. So you get three words, and I don't want to say three words at random because I'm not going to give you someone's address or something, but it'll be something like, um, think of three random words. Um, it could be so, I don't want to say words because I don't want people to go look, look this one up and then people go and visit that place or whatever, just in case. But it gives you three words at random out of the English dictionary. And when you say those three words, it's like, B, B, like A, B, C, it shows exactly where you are on the road to within three metres. It's really, really clever and it's one of those things that's brilliant to use and the AA use that. So when you phone them, you can just say, this is my what three words address. It saves all the hassle of, well, I think I've just left the M5 and there's this sign and it says, Simic, I can't quite read and I'm sort of by a red house on a corner. It's messy. I do believe, this may be wrong, but I know that something not many people know. Did you know that when you phone the police in the UK, any of the emergency services, I believe, for about the last 13 years, phones have actually transmitted your location to them without you even knowing nothing. Your smartphone sends them your location so they can see where you are on the map. I don't know if the AA have that. I do remember reading that they do somewhere but they are the most technologically advanced of all the breakdown companies. So if you want to go with like the biggest and the best, please leave your comments if you're a mechanic for a rival company. <laughs> Let me know why they are or they're not the best, I don't know. But the AA are widely seen as the best, the biggest, the best. They get you quick. The drawback is they are expensive. As you saw, £261 for the first year, 323 from there on. But I did phone them this morning to ask about this. And they said, look, if you haven't made any claims in a year, if you haven't had any breakdowns, whatever, we might do you a deal next year. But I'm jumping the gun a bit because I've, I've only just joined <laughs> last week and it's only just become active this morning. So that's the AA, which stands for the Automobile Association. I may think of other things to say about them. And I'd like to point out I did many years ago work for the AA and the RAC. I worked for both of them many years ago. Um, but that's not relevant for this. It's just I have worked for them. All I say is one of them was a lot better than the other for terms of working, but that was a long time ago. And 
just because I joined the AA doesn't mean that they were the one that was better. But let's move on to the RAC. The RAC, the Royal Automobile Club, or the Automotive Club, I think it's Royal Automobile Club, they are similar to the AA. They have their own fleet of vans and mechanics, but they're not quite as big. I've used the RAC um, quite recently. The first time it took, I think, two hours for them to get to me. The second time, five hours it took them to get to me. Um, maybe that was a one-off, I don't know. But it wasn't a busy day, it was just a standard day. There was nothing particularly icy or wintry about it. And it took a long time. They do have their main control centre not far from where I am now. Just in Birmingham, I think it's by the M6 toll. And they are pretty much the same as the AA, but they have differences. I don't know if the AA do this, but the RAC have what they call a universal spare tyre. So they come out to you if you've got a flat tyre, and they give you this spare to put it on, and you can drive it to a garage, because a lot of cars nowadays don't come with spare tyres at all, which I think is stupid. But they don't put spares so they can make the boot bigger and advertise bigger boot, you know, buy our car because it's got a bigger boot. I'd rather have a spare tyre, thanks, <laughs> than a bigger boot. Um, what are your thoughts on that? You get these breakdown kits now, like foam, if you break down, you put foam in the tyre and it gets you to a garage. I'd rather just have a, sp a proper spare tyre as I have in this car. So yeah, they give you this spare tyre, you can drive to a garage, leave the tyre there while they fit you a new one. There are different options, different levels, which I'll come to in a moment. Um, but they are pretty much the same as the AA, they're just not as big. They are, however, cheaper. The policy I took out, which was 261 with the AA, is only 179 with the RAC, and that's for specialist cover for a driver's school car, same level as with the AA. So quite considerably cheaper, but people have said in reviews it's because they do take a while to get to you. I don't know, maybe that's unfair, I've only called them out twice, but it did take two hours and five hours. Which <laughs> I was at home for the five hour one, and I did say, to be fair, I did say to them, look, I'm at home, no great rush. But it was still five hours. Um... The mechanic was really nice though when he turned up. He was a great guy, really friendly, really helpful. Um, he couldn't fix it because he was swimming. <laughs> Ironically, he couldn't fix. But that's that's not his fault. That was just a miscommunication. Quite simply, it was the dual controls. If your dual controls are broken, they won't touch them. It has to be done by the company that fitted them, which in my case is He-Man. Not the 80s cartoon character. <laughs> He-Man is the name of the dual control company. Um... In old videos of mine, I had a speedo on the windscreen, and everyone keeps asking, where do you get that from? He-Man. So, if it's dual control related, they won't come out to you. Or well, they'll come out, but they won't be able to help you. Um, so, it's rare that happens, but if your dual controls break, you can just unscrew them and disable them and drive the car yourself, that's safe. But I would not recommend doing that, really. You want to get a qualified person to do it, and you don't want to put them on yourself. Don't do that. You want a qualified professional to pull them on for you. So yeah, they, the RSC are good, they're cheaper, maybe they're a bit slower, I don't know. Let's have a look at Green Flag. Now Green Flag are quite different to the other companies because Green Flag don't operate their own fleet of vehicles. Green Flag have, it's like um, the way it works is you phone a number and they have a whole network of I was going to say network of, inform of informers, a network of spies. <laughs> they, they have a network of breakdown companies. So it's like an amalgamation of lots of little breakdown companies, private garages and whatever. And you phone Green Flag and they sort out the one nearest you. That's one reason people don't like them. It's because they say there's like a break in communication. Because you're phoning Green Flag and they're phoning another company and then the other company can't do it, so you phone another one. It's a bit messier. But I have used a system similar. I don't think it was Green Flag themselves, but it's the fourth kind I'm going to talk about, the Independent. I might as well talk about Independent now, because Independent is pretty much the same as Green Flag. It's similar. Independent is when you get a, like a policy in with your bank accounts. Some people some bank accounts include breakdown cover. Sometimes when you get a new car, if you lease a vehicle, which I did a separate video on leasing or buying, which is better. 
you sometimes get some kind of independent policy with that but it's very much the same as green flag and independence same sort of thing so you found them i don't know if you can use an app with them they do have an app whether or not you can use it i don't know but you phone them and they then get in touch with a local garage you can make to you so if you don't like dealing with big companies if you like independent small companies you want to give them a go and if you want to save money green flag is the choice for you because green flag are very cheap now i looked at this price online and their business cover i don't know if this is specialized probably not but their business cover was 97 pounds which is really cheap and i think it did say they cover um driving school cars i may be wrong but i think they did even if it was a bit more they'd still be much much cheaper than the others so a cheaper option but people have said in reviews you will you're going to be waiting a long time for them to get to you they're slower the communication's not as good now that may be unfair please let me know your experiences that's just what i've read but you never know these reviews it could be other companies some companies do actually pay members of staff to leave <laughs> bad reviews for other companies it happens with driving schools you can tell some instructors leave um other instructors bad reviews it's just petty stuff people do to try and put them out of business so there you go there's your three or four choices the levels of cover is worth talking about now when you get breakdown cover um the standard cover will only cover you if you break down more than a quarter of a mile from your house and this is the same i think for all of them but it may be different with green flag but i know the aa and i'm pretty certain the rac say you have to be at least a quarter of a mile away from your home before they'll come out to cover you that's the basic level of cover if you go for at home or whatever they call it because different companies call it different things um at home cover means they'll come out to your house and fix your car if you won't start at home the one i have and the one i thoroughly recommend everyone has is what's known as national or relay or recovery it's when or onward travel it's known as they will come out to you anywhere at home or on the road and if they can't fix it they will tow you and your car i'll tow your car they won't tow you <laughs> i've had this before the little cat's just running over the road <laughs> um I've had this before where um, I had a breakdown <coughs> and they were towing the vehicle and they took me and the person I was with in the van so they'll take you to any one location in the UK so you, if you're on your way to holiday you could say can you take us to the holiday destination and then you get your car fixed when you're there or you'd have to decide do you go home maybe get your car fixed then go on holiday <coughs> it's up to you but that is a, a cover I recommend there is one level higher which is European cover but I don't plan on driving around Europe so I don't need that but that's quite a bit more expensive so there you go now that's business breakdown cover so the main points are make sure you get a specialist policy if you're a driving instructor um, don't expect to use the app because unfortunately you can't not with the AA at least come on AA you need to work that out I mean I'm just a person in a car why can't I use the app it's not like I'm you know, like I've got some really weird vehicle, it's just a dual controlled Ford Fiesta. <laughs> I feel a bit annoyed about that, that I can't use the app. Um, but there you go, um, you can still phone them. So get the right cover, definitely get what three words installed on your phone. Um, that's about it really, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to know more about becoming a driving instructor, I've got tons of pages on my website, firstdrive.com. I've made loads of videos about mock standards checks, going through the marking sheet, going through risk assessment. I did one over three hours long, five parts plus an introduction, the sixth part, or well, the first part of six, and that went over everything you need to know about being an instructor. And yeah, if you want to be an instructor, a learner, or if you've got driving anxiety, then get in touch because I do it all. I'm a one-man band <laughs> who does it all. So, hope you found that useful. Check out these other videos on the screen now. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you again soon for more videos.